This is day number three in Colorado. On day number one, we went to the Rustigurk Resort. On day two, we went to the Great Sand Dunes. And now today, on day number three, we're going to be going to the Royal Gorge. We're actually leaving right now. And it's been a lot of fun. We're on to our site number two, and I can't wait to show all of you. We're walking down to get breakfast right now at the front, and then after we get breakfast, we're actually going to start driving on the way to the Royal Gorge. too bad and this place is absolutely massive this bridge is really old and there's a river down there with the railroad which I think is really cool as well 
this bridge is 956 feet above the ground, which makes it America's tallest suspension bridge. On June 5th, 1929, 80 men started to build this bridge, and it took seven months to complete. It was open to the public later that year in December, and has quickly become a major tourist attraction in the state. What's really cool about this is they actually have all 50 state flags on the bridge, and the view is amazing. This is actually the tallest suspension bridge in all of America, which is absolutely incredible. This view is amazing. The railroad actually goes through the gorge and right next to it is the river, which is really cool. I was looking for the Texas flag and it's down here at the very, very end. We're outside the theater, waiting for the show to start. I've ever been watch, but look how cool this view is. The bridge is really long and it's, I don't know, it's just incredible to look at. I'm assuming there's tour guides on the tractor. We're not going on that, but just imagine being on a tractor going across the world's tallest suspension bridge. Or the tallest suspension bridge in America, at least. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
But even then, that jackrabbit is a very dangerous animal to try to take down. The hairs are unique in the raptor world in that they hide in the pack. We call them the rules of the sky, the wolf pack of the air. Average groups of three to five, but up to 15 hairs will work together to establish territory, build their nests, raise their offspring, and take down their prey. The oldest female is the one in charge of the pack. Alright, what is this? Oh, eagle! What species? What kind of eagle is she? The golden eagle. She's all that. This is a gold coloration on the back of her head. Can you guys see that? This bird's name is Gaia. We don't know how old Gaia is, unfortunately. Um, after their fifth year, all the golden eagles have their gold plumage. You can't tell. And this bird, unfortunately, was struck by a vehicle here in Colorado oh. and was brought to a rehab facility as an adult. Um, she's a detached retina. But she's totally blind, unfortunately, in her right eye. Although she can fly, she can't make that 3D imagery to be able to successful grabbing her prey. So that's what we have for her. In the wild, these guys live 23 years. In human care, look at these feet. This bird is a huge, 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 huge birds. But no one issue this big, no one issue is 1200 psi. What do you think she hunts? Mammals. <laughs> no, but in reality, we're looking for prairie dogs, jackrabbits, rabbits, foxes, coyotes, and wolves. This is the wolf's predator. This is the wolf's class to watch out for. These guys can also take down deer and frog We just got out of the show. I recorded most of it because I wanted to show you guys. I thought the birds that, that they were showing were really cool. Now we're back outside and it's about to start storming. The wind's really, really picking up now. They really do have lots of things here. They have ice cream things and places to eat, places to play games, and they have this little amusement park area. And they also have Jeep tours and all this other kind of stuff, which is really, really cool. I went up to the top of the uh, playground thing to show you the view. The view is actually really good from up here. We're trying to hurry to leave because the storm is getting closer and it's really it's going to be really bad. It's raining really hard right now. I know you can't see it, but it is, and the wind is really really strong. Texas, see Yes. The Washington flag has a picture of George Washington on it. I know I keep on saying it, but I still can't get over how good this view is. There's people actually down there in the river right now, on the tubes. We just now made it back across the Royal Gorge Bridge, and I just now found out that the bridge is actually 1,260 feet long in total. Okay. We're leaving right now, but this is a little glimpse of the gift shop, because we had to walk through it to get out. And, I don't know, this was really, really fun. This is a little part of what the inside looks like, though. The rain has settled down quite a bit now since we got out.
We've left the Royal Gorge and we're on the way to a hotel where we'll be staying until we go to our fourth location and I'm really excited to show you. So if you've been enjoying these videos, please make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. It really does help and comment down below what your favorite part is and otherwise, other than that, I can't wait to see all of you back here next Saturday and I hope you have an amazing rest of your weekend. Bye everyone.